says the Senate will now move its uh, long vacation to next week, Thursday. Brings the question, how many people of Senate plans to screen in a day, considering there are 43 of them? Senator Adia also said that the Senate will most likely uh, sit over this on Friday as well to ensure that the screening is done. And he also said an unusual method where the Senate has to extend its sitting time will be employed. Now the Senate sits 10 to 2, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. If for any reason they have to sit beyond that, a motion has to be moved on the floor and adopted by majority of the senators. Well, we've heard the Senate President say that today uh, they'll take a break at 1 and return at 2 p.m. So it's quite clear that uh, the Senate will be sitting longer than usual today. You're watching the live broadcast of the Ministerial Screening, live from Channels Television. Walking into the chamber now is a uh, former senator and former governor of Aquilo State, Senator Godzu Lakbabu. And I make bold to say that a similar thing will happen as it did with Senator George Akuma. He walks in with us, Senior Special Assistant to the President of National Assembly Matters, Senator Ita Enang. Uh, senator Akbabu has been outside the uh, lobby for a while now interacting with uh, some of the lawmakers, some of the senators. And as you can see, there's some good spirit being shared there. <laughs> now, for those who don't know, Senator uh, Godswell Akbabu's nomination is coming just as he lost his re-election bid to the Senate and uh, the matter was in court but was eventually withdrawn by him. In a moment he will state, give a brief about himself. Now I say, as I said earlier, most likely the senators will ask him to take a bow and go. It's quite popular among the senators. Distinguished colleagues, we have distinguished Senator Goswell Akpabio, a former minority leader in this Senate, the nominee. Let me welcome you on behalf of our colleagues here, and we have your CV. Nevertheless, you are at liberty to elaborate on those aspects of your CV that you think you need to emphasize, or those important things that you feel you have omitted from the CV, so you can address the Senate. Thank you, my brother, distinguished Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, distinguished Senator Ahmed Lawan, my brother, the Deputy Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Omar Agege. Very distinguished leaders of the Senate, of the nine Senates, my colleagues in the eighth Senate, and of course my leaders in totality in the ninth Senate, I greet all of you. It is a real privilege for me to be here. 
Distinguished Senate President, I, I know some time ago when we had the valedictory session, uh, one of my very younger brothers that I, I admire so much has said we will meet on the streets of Abuja. But I'm very delighted that through the privilege of Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, a man of excellence, a man who believes in good governance, a president who loves Nigeria, and a man that is very determined to leave a legacy of good governance for this country. We are now meeting here in the Senate. I had assured him that we shall meet, and we are meeting today. So, distinguished Senate President, my name is Goswell Obota Kwabio. I come from the south south part of Nigeria, specifically Akwa Ibom State. I have submitted my CV. I represented the good people of Akwa Ibom Northwest Senatorial North District in the 8th Senate. I did my best. In fact, I took time to elaborate some of the constituency projects that I, I undertook in the 8th Senate. The reason is very simple. So that if Nigerians should see that CV and see the quantum of what we are doing here, they will be very, very happy. And they will continue to support the civil senators to take such projects to the grassroots. It is my firm belief that the only way we can touch the lives of the less privileged in the society is through these hollow chambers. So I took time to elaborate those things. If you go inside, you will see some of the health centers, some of the hospitals, the roads that we're able to do, not much, maybe two kilometers, 2.5 kilometers, and, so, and even intervening in the educational aspect and all that. I took time to do that so that you go through it, it will encourage you, it will also encourage your society. So I want to thank all of you uh, for giving me audience. Nothing really to say than what you already know. I'm regarded as an uncommon performer in any place I go to. And that is why standing in front, <laughs> standing in front of you, uh, I will not change. I want to assure Mr. President and the Senate that I will not change. I will continue to offer uncommon services to Nigeria through the current platform. And that means the performance, and that means with integrity, that means with dedication, and that means with love. If you don't love your people, you will not give them quality things. I, I'm, I'm just one of those uh, Nigerian servants that you can say that he left office almost uh, how many years ago, but some of the roads he did in his state when he was governor, there is not a pothole 11 years after, not one pothole, and that is very rare in the Niger Delta. So you are seeing a man very determined to give quality service to Nigeria, and then this nomination will afford me that opportunity. I, I want to say that I rest my case on the CV before you. Here is God's will I you. On common performer, on common governor, on common senator. On you common are welcome. Commissioner. You are welcome. I thank you. You are welcome. Um, the Sungish colleagues, you know, when Senator George Akume, the nominee from Benue, came in, there was a unanimity on our tradition of granting that privilege and concession to members of the National Assembly that are now nominees. Despite that, I want to take the privilege of sitting here to call, invite the current minority leader, Senator Abaribe, to say something, and of course, the majority leader to wrap it up, and then the nominee can take a bow and go. You, you, you are senior to the minority leader. So let, let him say what he wants to say, and then you wrap it up. 
Thank you, Mr. President, sitting as the chair. My name is Eine Abaribe, representing Abia South, also a neighbor to Senator Godwin Apabi. Let me say, Mr. President, that I fully subscribe to your stipulation of our tradition. But our it's a, a problem between my heart and my head. I wish that this tradition was not there. I would have made God's will sweat. <laughs> but the tradition is here and we have nothing else we can do. But let me also inform Mr. President that I had spoken to the Aquaibom caucus as minority leader and they had also told me that they are in full support of the nomination of giving our brother Senator Godswill Ababio uh, Mr. President helping him to rest very well after working in this chamber. This is what we want. We want people, when they leave this chamber, to go to somewhere that they are going to have um, the opportunity to showcase their talents. So we want to, in keeping with our tradition, wish you well and uh, expect that you will represent this chamber very well inside the villa. It's not the first time we have seen senators go from here to the villa and turn into something else. But we know that as an uncommon person, you will also work uncommonly to make sure that the relationship between the villa and the White House is very, very uncommon. So I thank you, we trust you. and I wish you well. We trust you. The Senate leader. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, sitting as the chair. I would like to share in total the sentiments that have been expressed by the minority leader. Uh, of course, all of us who were in the 8th Senate knew the kind of contributions and the tenacity, you know, that uh, Aquabio brought to the chamber in the past four years. I only wanted to interject in a lighter mood uh, by recalling an incident about four years ago when, as leader of the minority, Mr. Aukavio led a walkout of the entire minority <laughs> membership of this chamber, whom we are considering the nomination of, the, of uh, Amechi. <laughs> so I wanted to ask him a question. You know, what would he have done if Mr. Abaribe were to ask the minority to move out? <laughs> So, Mr. President, I share that sentiment, uh, well taken sentiment, and uh, you know, I don't want uh, Senator Fabio to answer that question. You know, I don't want to answer that question, but just to recall hilariously what happened at that time. I, I think uh, the President has made a very good choice, and I know the uncommon touch that Senator Fabio brought to this Senate is going to be extended to the executive arm of government. I thank you, Mr. Chairman.
Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I think the leaders have spoken, and uh, the understanding is he will take a bow. Let me just also add here that we are going to work together with the executive. Uh, very well, we are prepared to do that. Our committees are going to carry out oversights. We will insist on oversights because we believe that that's the only way to keep everybody on its toes. And that is not to amount to hostility or rancor. You and many others who are nominees today have passed through the National Assembly. We want you to explain that kind of activity to those ministers who wouldn't have passed through this place. That when they are invited by committees of the National Assembly, they must appear. We don't want a situation where we are trying to do good, to work together, and then some ministers will start to undermine and jeopardize the process. I'm sure with people like you, Senator George Okume, and many others, about six or seven of you, seven, the relationship will be better, and we are going to work in such a manner that Nigeria will benefit from a cordial relationship. Thank you very much. Is it the view of the Senate that he takes a bow? Yeah. What order? Mr. President, Mr. President, um, I'm coming on, let me just say on that personal explanation. Mr. President, it will be uncommon as that members of the Okwabunte Caucus in this chamber have not been given the privilege to say something before this uncommon nomination. So I want to plead, Mr. President, <laughs> So, Mr. President, I want to plead that. Uh, Thank you very much. I will still uh, allow you to come under 43 that you say you are coming. But when the minority leader spoke, he said he was speaking also the, on behalf of the Aqua Ibom caucus. And I understood that to mean that he talked with you and all the three of you. Senator Christopher Stephen uh, Epeyon also approached me that he wanted to speak. But I thought since the minority leader spoke on your behalf, he has covered whatever you want to say. So I'm not going to rule you out of order, but I'll advise that you don't have to speak because if everybody insists to speak, unless, unless you feel strongly about it, Uh, Senator, uh, Senator Albert Basi Akpan, you can see the mood of the Senate at the moment is not in favor of what you want to do. And let's, let's assume that uh, we have spoken your mind too. I'm sure you cannot say anything uh, more than what the minority leader said on your behalf. Thank you very much. So is it the opinion of the Senate that the nominee takes a bow? You can take a bow. second person that asked to take a bow without any questions thrown at him. The Senate President, however, President of the Senate, I beg your pardon, however, advised him to speak with his colleagues when and if they are confirmed, informing them of how important it is for the Senate to carry out its oversight function without any rancor. Uh, that's because Senator Fabio has I'm, been I'm to and I'm understands uh, how important help us by how important it is going out they, do, in they do that uh, no, duty. Not. Senator Godzilla Fabio is a two-time governor of Aquaibo State <laughs> and uh, a one-time former senator and uh, he was a minority leader. The nominee is going to be Honorable 
a maker of the 